National Aerospace Development Administration NADA, Chosangal, Gugajujibalgug is the official space agency of North Korea, succeeding the Korean Committee of Space Technology. It was founded on April 1, 2013. The current basis for the activities of NADA is the Law on Space Development. In 2013, the seventh session of the 12th Supreme People's Assembly was passed. The Act sets out the North Korean principles of peaceful development of space determines compliance with the principles of the Juche ideology, North Korean ideology and independence, as well as the aim of solving scientific and technological problems of space to improve the economy, science and technology. The law also regulates the position of the NADA and the principles of notification, security, research and possibly compensation in relation to satellite launches. The law calls for cooperation with international organizations and other countries, the principle of equality and mutual benefit, respect for international law and international regulations for space. The law also opposes the militarization of space. Topic: <laughs> Korean Committee of Space Technology. In 1980, KCST, the Executive Space Agency of North Korea, started research and development with the aim of producing and placing communication satellites, Earth observation satellites and weather observation satellites. <laughs> <laughs> International legal regime of North Korea's space activities In 2009, North Korea entered to the Treaty on Principles Governing the Activities of States in the Exploration and Use of Outer Space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies in, and the Convention on Registration of Objects Launched into Outer Space Objects. <laughs> Logo The emblem of NADA consists of a dark blue globe with the word Kukgaojujibakuk National Space Development Administration in white Korean letters on the bottom, DPRK Democratic People's Republic of Korea in light blue letters on the top, the constellation of Ursa Major, NADA in white letters in the middle, and two bright blue rings symbolizing satellite orbits and the intention of place on all orbits of satellites. The logo is described as representing the agencies character, mission, position, and development prospect. Ursa Major is intended to symbolize and glorify North Korea as a space power. The Western media point out that the logo strikingly resembles to NASA's logo. Both with blue globes, white lettering, stars, and swooshed rings. Topic: <laughs> Space launch vehicles. Topic P A E K T U S A N one North Korea's first orbital space launch vehicle, based on the M O K S O N G one ICBM called Taipodong one in the West. Topic Unya one, Unya two, Unya three, and Kwangmyongsong, Unya four. Designed to compete with South Korea's KSLVI. The Unya is a North Korean family of expendable carrier rockets. The Unya 1, Unya 2, Unya 3, and Unya 4 partially utilize the same delivery system as the MOKSONG 2 ICBM, known as Taipodong 2 long range ballistic missile in the West. Unya 9 Designed to compete with South Korea's KSLV-2, it will be able to place one ton into GSO. Partially utilize the same delivery system as the MOKSONG-3 ICBM known as Taipodong-3 long-range ballistic missile in the West. Manned Unya Designed to compete with South Korea's KSLV-3, it will be able to place 8 tons into LEO. This manned version based on an uprated Unya 9, with additional strap-on boosters would double the liftoff thrust, suitable for placing a spacecraft, similar to the Chinese CZ-2F. Unya 20 
Designed to compete with South Korea's KSLVIV, the future Unya 20 will be able to place 20 tons into Leo. Topic: <laughs> Single-seater manned launcher. An unknown new space launcher suitable to launch a single astronaut into LEO, and based on a HWASONG-15 ICBM seems to have been revealed on the occasion of the 70th Ararang Mass Games, called the Glorious Country, held in September 2018. The depiction an astronaut along a manned spacecraft stacked on a rocket stage powered by two engines and extended by a skirt, thus similar to the HWASON G-15 configuration, has been displayed with a new civilian Moseltly white paint, instead of the mostly black military paint. <laughs> <laughs> Solid fuel launcher Based on the diameter of the flame exhaust bucket of 10 meters on the Tonghe Launch Complex 3 built and never finished, a larger booster with a diameter of 4.5 meters, thus equivalent to the Iranian solid propellant QAEM is still awaiting its inaugural launch. <laughs> <laughs> launch history This is a list of satellites launched. North Korea's Deep Space Exploration Program Designed to compete with South Korea's KSLVIV, the future Unya 20 will be able to place 20 tons into LEO. It will be used also in the North Korean Deep Space Exploration Program that includes the Moon and Mars. North Korean Lunar Exploration Program Korean, Joseon Daltamsa Chao Xi'an Tan Yu NKLEP North Korean Lunar Orbiter The first phase of the NKLEP South Korean internet paper Jaju Minbo carried an article on March 23, 2012, that North Korea is likely to launch a lunar explorer satellite. <laughs> North Korean lunar lander The second phase of the NKLEP after orbiting in an interview with the Associated Press, a senior official said on August 4, 2016, that the North Koreans will start designing lunar orbiter and lunar lander immediately after launching a geocommunication satellite as planned in the second space development five-year plan. The development and completion of the PAEKT USAN-1 rocket engine was an epic-making event that advanced the moon exploration plan. North Korea is racing to be in the next 10 years, the seventh nation in the world to land a probe on the Moon, after the United States 1966, the Soviet Union 1966, Japan 1990, the European Space Agency 2006, India Chandrayaan-1's Moon Impact Probe MIP crash landed on the lunar surface on 14 November 2008 and China on 1 March 2009, Chang'e-1 crashed onto the surface of the Moon. North Korean Lunar Sample Return Mission Prerequisite paving the way for any manned moon landing, the third phase of the NKLEP after orbiting and landing would be to return rock samples to the Earth with a robotic probe. Already illustrated back in 2015's Pyongyang Science Technology Complex, by a schematics of the orbital trajectory of the North Korean Lunar Exploration Program Phase 3, the Lunar Sample Return Mission. Launched with a heavy Unya 20 booster able to place 5T into a LTO, sometimes after 2026. Splash landing of the return capsule in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> North Korean Mars Exploration Program Korean, Joseon Wazongtamsa Chao Xi'an Tan Huo Shing NKMEP Hyun Kwang Il, director of the Scientific Research Department of North Korea's National Aerospace Development Administration, said that North Korea also intends to do manned spaceflight and scientific experiments in space, make a flight to the moon and moon exploration and also exploration to other planets. Topic: 
<laughs> North Korea's manned space program First disclosure of North Korea's manned space program Knowing that NADA and ESA have designed together a full family of large modern liquid propellant satellite carriers, called Unya Safir-2, Safir-3 in Persian, and solid propellant rockets up to 4 meters in diameters by 2011 and called QAEM, TIR and Mare in Persian, the first announcement by Iran of its intention to send a man into space has only revealed the plan for a future North Korean manned spaceflight. North Korea's recoverable capsule The first official depiction of a future North Korean recoverable capsule, from a poster of the Pyongyang First Junior High School, was published on August, 8, 2017. The same poster was only partially visible in a previous 16 October 2015 photo. The depicted Kwangmyongsong satellite carrier could easily place a 1,000 kg payload into LEO. North Korea's first astronaut selection On September 15, 2017, the head of the Iranian Science Ministry's Aerospace Research Center, Fathala OMI, told the state broadcaster a week earlier, that, "...ten skilled pilots are currently undergoing difficult and intensive training so that two of them, can be selected for the space launch." The project to send a man to orbit should be implemented by 2025 and before that we will have a project to send human beings to suborbital Earth." He also said that Iranian experts will likely send an astronaut robot along with a bio capsule before a manned mission. On February 10, 2018, CGI of an Iranian astronaut by 2020 in IRIBNEWS TV footage only echoed a North Korean New Year 2018 show, depicting a selection of 10 North Korean astronauts wearing similar spacesuits. By the summer of 2018, pictures of astronauts could be seen everywhere from schools to exhibition centers and shopping centers, including walls and school backpacks. This only replacing the previous rocket fever. By December, North Korean media started to publish a biography of Hayecho, a Buddhist monk from Silla in the 8th century, and a great voyager who, after ten years mostly by foot, reached Persia and the Mediterranean Sea, before returning to Tang's China. This follows the same practice observed just a couple of months before the previous space launches of Unya 2 and Unya 3 rockets, with accounts of Cho Mu Sun, Cho Mu Zian Kui Mao Zan 1326-1395, who invented black powder and black powder weapons for the first time in Korea. Topic: <laughs> Manned Unya launch vehicle. Designed to compete with South Korea's KSLV-3, it will be able to place 8 tons into LEO. This manned version based on an uprated Unya 9, with additional strap-on boosters would double the liftoff thrust, suitable for placing a spacecraft, similar to the Chinese CZ-2F. According to a February 11, 2018, Iranian roadmap, this launcher should be available by 2026. By the summer of 2018, in the new «Astronaut Fever», illustration of a manned launcher with strap-on boosters have started to emerge. <laughs> manned spacecraft On the occasion of the 70th Ararang Mass Games, called the Glorious Country, held in September 2018, the depiction an astronaut along a manned spacecraft stacked on a rocket stage powered by two engines and extended by a skirt, thus similar to the HWASON G-15 configuration, has been displayed. <laughs> Future projects In 2016, Hyun Kwang Il, director of NADA's Scientific Research Department, said they plan to launch more satellites before 2020, including a geostationary satellite. He also said that he hoped they would plant the flag of the DPRK on the moon. Within 10 years, in 2017, NADA officials unveiled two proposals for upcoming satellites. One of which is an Earth remote exploration satellite weighing in class over 100 kilograms with spatial resolution of several meters. 
the second being a satellite with a proposed geostationary orbit for communication with an estimated weight of at least one short ton. Various media outlets have reported that North Korea was in the process of completing one of the two satellites, dubbed KWANGMYONGSONG5. However, the expected launch date is yet to be determined. See also Korean Committee of Space Technology List of space agencies <laughs>